Hi Cancers and welcome to your July 2020 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to talk to you about the energies coming in for your month of July. Welcome to your season Cancer. The sun is in Cancer right now and I love it. I think that it's a very potent healing force for us all right now. Um, that said, I know that uh, this is not the easiest time for Cancer because there is so much direct action or so much direct alignment happening um, within the transits for you that this just becomes such a uh, defining moment for you. This whole entire month of July becomes definitively healing, and I think that you have an opportunity to really heal up some of the broken pieces or some of the difficulties you've been facing for a long time um, in an absolute sense this month. So uh, what is one of the main things that I feel for you as I'm seeing your spread, as I'm sitting with the energy um, I've, I've understood that July is a month for everybody, you know, cancer season for humanity feels to be a very um, aligning and almost sacred geometrical time. And what does that mean? It, it means that things that have been unanswered or things that have been hazy or blurry or foggy uh, will kind of click into place and at least gain more definition, more recognition for what they are. You know, the unknown aspects of our lives, the, the things that we've been devoted to, that we've been unsure of, or that we've not um, necessarily known. If it's, you know, is this job that I'm doing or this relationship I'm committing to, are these things really benefiting me at a more wholesome level? I think that that will really start to be more... Uh, recognizable for you this month uh, through facing any uh, difficulties that come up that might say that you know something is not right or there needs to be a pivot or a change in direction um, because as you guys may have seen if you've been following some of my recent updates there is kind of a pivot with the uh, cancer energy there's a, a really direct a bar that gets set, I want to say. There's there's really the setting of a goal or a setting of a standard or setting of a certain bar that shows you more clearly what your de the details of your life are that are making these realities. So uh, you have Eight of Cups in your uh, spread. You've got King of Cups. You've got Six of Pentacles. There's something to me that really says that you're walking away from old patterns of debt, old patterns of um, emotional negligence or emotional difficulty should really start to have a new bar set. Um, there's a new bar that you're setting about emotional fulfillment, about how you um, are owing people emotionally or how people are owing you emotionally. Things that have been cut short or things that have been forced to continue um, out of a sense of, you know, owing or, um, you know, being indebted to somebody else. These things feel to be very much faced and uh, either cleared or worked with this month. Anything dealing with debt, emotional debt, uh, what you feel somebody owes you, what you feel you owe to somebody else, what you feel you owe to yourself, because cancer season is always a season of the self. So what do you owe yourself right now, cancer? That's a really important question to be looking at coming into this month is, what do I owe myself? Um, I also, what I'm hearing, I'm getting this really clearly, like, why do you do this to yourself is what I'm hearing too. Why do I do this to myself? Why do you do this to yourself? You might be asking somebody in your life, why do you do this to yourself? You might be asking yourself, why do I do this to myself? Um, that is really potent. And that might, just saying it in this way, it might seem discouraging, like, oh my gosh, yeah, why have I been doing this to myself? Or why has this person in my life been doing this to themselves? It might seem like it has a negative connotation, or it might seem like it has something, um, you know, difficult about it. But I think within that question is um, something really, really beautiful. Okay, Cancers. And it's kind of like, Things like this or realizations like this are why I do what I do, you know, here on YouTube and and uh, coming every month consistently for nearly four years now um, doing this. It's, it's messages like this that I um, live for, essentially, where we see something like, why do I do this to myself? This And, and when, when we ask something like that and we kind of recognize that something is not right or that something is... Um, false or something is not a semblance of who we are at a true authentic level, yet we're there. And then we ask ourselves something like, why do I, why am I doing this to myself? That for some people would be trauma a traumatic question. Like, oh my God, you know, what am I doing? But here with these types of ideas and these types of nuances, this question can become like this powerfully illuminating 
um, you know, self-solidarity where you realize, okay, yeah, I'm not going to do this to myself anymore. I'm going to, you know, um, be there for myself. I'm going to hold up the ideals that I want to create in my life and I'm going to really stand firm in that. And so a question like, why do I do this to myself be now becomes a victory of certain sense where we've realized, okay, now I've realized it enough to where I can ask the question in the first place. I'm not going to fear that. I'm not going to fear the answer to that question. I'm going to rejoice in the fact that I've realized that something's off and now I have the capability to fill in these gaps in a new way. So that is like the potential for you this month, Cancer. We have definitely a crossroads for everyone to some degree in July. And for Cancer, I feel like either this can be super difficult and you can say, oh my God, I've been putting myself in a relationship, in a way of being, in a headspace, in a um, in a area of convincing myself that, you know, people really are against me or that things have to be this egoic or that things have to be so constantly, you know, critical or something like that. Um, either we can put ourselves there and find this like defeat of where have these years gone of doing this to myself or where did that person lose all these years doing that to themselves? And um, what we can actually choose is the other side of the crossroads and be like, now that I know it, now that I can heal it, now that I recognize these things, look at how the glass ceiling of my spiritual experience just shot up or disappeared entirely. So there, that's like the potential spectrum that we're working with in this month as we have Cancer season opposing the Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. Um, also having Chiron and Aries turning retrograde as well. There's a huge cardinal influx of sudden progress, okay, that really gets initiated here. It's more of an initiation at this time than it is a result time, but it's through these very personal questions, and, and you can I'm, you don't even have to make it at the self level. I mean, I think that that's best because cancer is the sign of the self, but also you could even like look at it for business or for health or for relationships and, and thinking, you know, um, why has this business come to this place that it is? You know, why has this relationship um, ended and why why could it never be, um, you know, put in words? Like, like there are, there are like really important questions uh, in a time like this, Cancer, that do not need to go unanswered. So on that note, Cancers, let's jump into the week-to-week -week forecast for you guys. Um, so in the first week of July, you've got six of pentacles rooted down by nine of wands reversed. So um, exhaustion, okay? We just came from that uh, very, very hectic energetic month, chaotic energetic month of June, where we had that full moon eclipse, lunar eclipse in Sagittarius, which uh, conjuncted the uh, nodal axis, which recently just shifted into Gemini and Sagittarius. And then a few weeks later, we had new moon in Cancer, which had a solar eclipse at the solstice point. Um, the conflict and the tug of wars and the internal battles that I feel um, not only you, but everybody was kind of going through, you know, it has a cost. It has a certain recovery that it requires. And I don't want you to worry, Cancer, if you're coming into your season, first week of your season, you're like, yeah, I'm ready to celebrate. I'm ready to, you know, you know, get out in town and get out into all these places or get to the beach or whatever. Uh, don't be surprised if you're feeling a little bit worn down. Some of you are going to have so much energy and not even be phased by this. You know, if you've really worked with June in, um, in a very caring and thoughtful way. Um, but first week of July could be a feeling of exhaustion for some of you. And I don't feel that it's necessarily physical exhaustion. I feel that that you are tired of a certain hierarchy or you're tired maybe at work there's a weird power thing going on where a boss or a manager or something is is being a little bit crazy um, or perhaps um, vice versa if you're on the other end of that hierarchy the the other people or the employees might be um, being very difficult I know with with having the quarantines and everything we have a totally new type of work system a lot of us so that could be kind of what is impacting that for a lot of you um, I would also say think about how you're nourishing your body too. Cancer is a sign that deals with nourishment of the body and it deals with um, vitality and energy sources. Um, so are you really eating enough? Are you getting enough nutrition? Are you getting enough nourishment? Uh, are you exercising too much? Are you overdoing something? Nine of wands reversed. I see this all the time when people are like um, exercising too much, pushing themselves too hard, even, even if it's not exercise. Maybe it's like um, how many hours a day you're staying up, how, how hard you're working on something. Um, do, don't exhaust yourself. 
you know don't um strip your body of its own um life force because that's what i see with the mixture of those two energies is like the the stripping of a life force um if you uh, can't give back to yourself so if you're working hard cancer you got to eat more you got to sleep more if you're um you know, really having a lot of huge awakenings. I'm sure most of you are during that first week of July. Um, you got to give back to yourself. You know, you got to rest more. You got to, um, you know, give yourself some enjoyment, you know, things that are healthy. And, you know, when I say enjoyment, I don't mean, you know, succumbing to old addictions or anything like that. But what I mean is, you know, maybe it's great to have like a game night or something. Maybe it's great to have um, just a, a strong detachment in some ways. Well, because I'm feeling something that's a little bit too attached at that time, too. Uh, for some cancers also, there could be like a mini bills racking up. Uh, Six of Pentacles is the card that rules bills and debts and outstanding balances. And obviously many of us are there with uh, what's going on with the economy, especially here in the U.S. So we have to really, um, you know, watch out for uh, overspending or losing track of it. Uh, and we have to find maybe perhaps new creative ways to fund ourselves. You know, maybe it's a great time to think about, you know, starting that new business or starting that new uh, um, endeavor in a way that uh, you can, even can just generate a little bit, I think, can be so great for cancers. Because this time of the year for you, Cancer, I mean, this is your solar deposit. This is your time of the year. This is where you get your new ideas. This is where you get your new um, emboldening experiences. And what I actually see, and this is so incredible, um, one of the reasons you might be worn out or you might be feeling uh, tired is because you've just gotten an incredible idea, okay? King of Cups has come up, you know, Eight of Cups, um, Six of Pentacles again, um, Seven of Cups too. Some of you have this like incredible, like ambitious plan coming out too, and watch out for how much that might actually be draining you now. Are we spending too much time at the drawing board? Are we spending too much time strategizing? Are we spending too much time future tripping? Um, think in more small steps, more in layman's terms cancer put one foot in front of the other otherwise none of it's going to happen so you just make sure if you want action if you want change if you want you know these new huge goals or plans uh, for your own life uh, what small steps can you start taking versus like okay I'm going to manifest it all on, on the 4th of uh, you know August or something um, so let, let's definitely think about that cancer but so first week rest yourself nourish yourself hydrate yourself watch for being in too much heat in too much um, you know, uh, work in too many crowded places or something like that. You, you want to keep things safe at that time and rested and rejuvenated. Week number two, Cancers, let's keep this moving. Eight of cups rooted down by two of pentacles reversed. So uh, walking away from indecisiveness, I love that so much. Um, and that's about as clear as I'm going to put that. You know, you, I think that these big goals or these big dreams or, you know, even if it's not like something that you would consider ambitious, like, okay, I just want to get to a place where I can furnish this new house that I'm living in in a way that makes me feel supported. Um, I just want to get to a place where I can, um, you know, own my house free and clear, something like that. Can't This is all cancer, cancerian types of, you know, th thinking. Um, the things that kind of propose a problem within all of that. So I want to furnish this house. Okay, we have two problems. One, I can't afford all the furniture, and or and two, you know, am I going to take take out all this debt to like afford all the furniture? And that's the two of Pentacles energy. Like, how am I going to accomplish these goals? Okay, I can save up for a long time, or I can do this, or I can borrow, or I can, um, I can ask my family for help, or something like that. Um, the second week of July really shows you a more clear-cut path and uh, stopping being so indecisive, stopping proposing all of these problems, stopping um, any type, because sometimes the ego gets very indecisive. So indec indecisiveness can be a symptom of ego being like really strong and ego being strong is not always a bad thing. You know, ego is not always a horrible thing. Um, but in a time like this, I can't say it gets us far. We can get really caught up in weird stories with ego this year. Um, so as a cancer, um, see indecisiveness for the sort of, um, egoic strategic, um, category that it is and try to just understand the truth and understand the actual answers instead of proposing all of these uh different you know solutions that are seeding indecisiveness okay third week eight of swords reversed rooted down by eight of wands so reverse look at all these eights you guys almost have all of the eights um eight of swords reversed so you're freeing yourself freeing yourself probably from that indecisiveness. Uh, also freeing yourself from the strictness or the confines of either a job or a previous relationship or anything like that. And, um, you know, maybe some of you are actually kind of like, okay, this relationship is not worth 
the money or the stability that it provides. Or this, um, that, that could be because Eight of Wands is about abundance and it's reversed. So it seems like maybe your confinement lately was dealing with receiving a certain amount of abundance. I mean, it's basically like employment, <laughs> you know, okay, I'm going to sign on the dotted line and be employed and then I will receive abundance and money, you know, it's that type of ideal. And this may have been sort of reverberating throughout every sector of your life. And I think the third week of July is kind of like, here is this view, here is this beach, here is this a uh, person's house that is exactly what I've always wanted for my own house. And it's like through seeing these things, it's just kind of, it's not about it. You know, it's not about these confinements or these um, abundances or these, these mm, shackled experiences. You really, I think, have an experience in the third week of July that kind of cleans up mm, uh, shackled uh, conformity experiences how, how else can i put it um any type of like servitude or any type of psychology that deals with being trapped to receive abundance small simple things are healing that up for you in the third week be open to those things if you can if that's something you're looking to heal week number four you guys have king of cups rooted down by seven of cups I don't really mind that. Usually Seven of Cups is a red flag for me. Um, it always is to a certain degree. Um, so you want to watch out for reality, what you're walking through every day versus what you're seeing in your mind. I feel that there's a need for um, either a need for dopamine, like as you're going through this month, to kind of see what you're wanting, to see what you're experiencing at a more spiritual level versus the reality and king of cups kind of comes in to uh create this emotional maturity to finally allow yourself to pursue to some degree what you're seeing with seven of cups always with seven of cups it's not super easy because you have these ideas or you have these dreams or these plans and you can see them very clearly like it's, it's so like it's almost graspable but by focusing so much on them the figure as you can see in seven of cups becomes in shadow so it loses focus on itself and it and it sort of reinvests its selfhood into perhaps inanimate objects into salaries into houses into um, power into any of those types of ideals and, and the self is not being nourished you know this is where you can fall into like some kind of chronic illness or some type of um, of you know fear-based way of living or uh, just basically uh, most likely even more so than those things losing track of what you actually want in life um, and thinking that it's some of these you know thought bubbles so King of Cups is the answer to that. It's emotional maturity, knowing what truly is right for you, knowing where you've come from, knowing what you've been through and what you've um, needed to tie up, basically, and uh, what, what you've needed to pursue. Um, there could be seven different options for you, Cancer. I think that you're very eccentric right now, which is interesting, and the Capricorn energy is... It's not against eccentricity, but it really wants like a focused progression in one place a lot of the time. So where is that one place of progression for you now, Cancer? Um, how is that tying up with your own um, soul energy? How are you developing your own authenticity this month without succumbing to like old themes of confinement? And how are you leaving indecisiveness behind in a very responsible way that's not just like, you know, putting the head in the sand or, or blurring ourselves out to reality? Um, all of those are going to be really important things to think about. I've so enjoyed our time together this month, Cancer. I hope that this reading resonated for you. I think things are very hopeful. I don't want you to worry too much. Okay, I don't want you to be fearful of this time because this time will heal you in a way, um, regardless. So really neat to also have like nice closures or to um, just take new breaths, enjoying new things, like uh, trying something new would be great. We've had new moon in Cancer. This moon cycle is all yours, basically. Um, and this, obviously, this solar cycle, too, as it is your season. Um, anyway, Cancer, we'll be putting together an extended reading over on Patreon. Uh, I'll answer some of these questions that we just uh, asked in, in the extended reading. I'm going to look at a central theme as well as two supporting themes, so there will be more cards in the extended reading. And uh, we'll look more into everything. So if you've enjoyed this and you would like to support the channel and receive more um, great content, uh, you can click the center of your screen now to jump over to Patreon for the extended. Likewise, thank you so much for your subscribes, likes, and comments over here on YouTube. And be sure to share this video if you have a cancer in mind who you think it might resonate for. Thank you guys so much. I'll be talking to you soon. Let's jump over to Patreon now for the extended. Bye-bye.